let's play Baby Bonnie Hood's Rebel Factions. I'm on the fourth mission here. The Protoss are looking for your help to destroy the rebels in the area of an ancient temple. Yeah, in the previous uh, mission, we met this carrier guy towards the end of the map, the third mission. Just what is your problem with the rebels, Commander? Protoss Commander. As you may know, this planet has mentioned ancient ruins. As commander of a research team, I'm in charge of directing them to discovering its secrets. But it seems your rebels also have the same idea. Recently, we've discovered some old information on how to make some kinds of energies more powerful. But then, almost as if by coincidence, the rebels attacked us and we were forced to retreat, leaving our discovery behind to them. Terran Commander, Protoss Commander, that doesn't sound good, says us, Lieutenant Commander. We tried to get it back from them, but they built a base around it to protect it. Right now, they're probably trying to figure out how to use our discovery to enhance the weapons that they took from you, humans. This is too much. Hey, wait a minute. How did you know about our problem? Never mind that. We must attack the rebels before they make any progress. Whatever. So where is this discovery of yours? It's in the mountainous region. That makes it all the more harder to attack them. More harder. How come? Because the area is rocky. They probably have a hard time maintaining their base. They would also have a hard time getting reinforcements. The same thing unfortunately applies to us too. I can help you there. We've already established a base near theirs. We can destroy the rebels with our forces there. Well then, that's a relief. Okay, here's what you do. You lead a small force to the Protoss base. Once there, you can mobilize the forces there to destroy the rebels. We'll try to send in reinforcements whenever we can. What about ghosts? Did I get them in this mission? This time, yes. We've finished equipping them with the new weapons, so they do more damage than we do. Cool! I get to command Protoss for a change and deal point while I'm at it. Sounds too good to be true. There's just one more thing. You've encountered Zerg in the area. You'll probably meet them too. Of course, man. Of course, there's Zerg. More Zerg. What's the matter with them? Everywhere we go, we meet Zerg. Oh, well. Too bad for them. I feel like there's a story behind as to why we keep seeing Zerg. Maybe that's explained in the later episode, episode 2, or maybe in the later missions. Destroying the rebel presence at the temple. So that's the research that the Protoss uh, discovered, I guess. And we start with minerals. Yeah. Yeah. I should probably have my Goliaths in the front, because they're more durable than, you know, vultures, obviously. So, let's actually move this healthy Goliath in the front. Maybe this one too. Got our Master Sergeant. We're 3 3 upgraded. Feels good. Rounds yet again. No need to use Spider Mines. Judging from the map creepy, we're almost there. Halfway there. It's like a labyrinth here. Do you have Siege Mode? Yes, we do. Yeah, Zerg units, especially Zerg units, they get slaughtered by vultures. Yeah. Oh, nice, we get a Luku Silo and some protest buddies. So this is your base. Looks good, but how come there's a nuclear silo? It was already there. We only guessed that it was left behind by another turret base. South Sess.
All right, we got to put you some kudos. We got some very peculiar based uh layout here. Okay, let's actually. Okay, this is our entrance. We'll make some spider mines. Why not? I don't think we'll get attacked from this side though, from where we came from. Okay, now the blue color makes sense because. We're controlling, you know, her boss, and they could be blue. Could be the fleet of the executor, maybe. I don't know, whenever I think of Protoss, especially in the uh, original campaign, I think of yellow and blue. We can't, in blue, we're, we're more blue as Protoss, but yeah, that's just the thing. And then, although I did mention in, uh, in this campaign's previous videos, the first three episodes, uh, missions, that it feels awkward seeing the Dominion as blue, you know, blue colored. I guess it's somewhat accurate still because, uh, because we do actually see a blue Terran faction, especially when we play as the UED in X05, where we have to uh, destroy Minx's command center in August Grad. There was red and blue. Uh, the million, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But ah, uh, no, I was still kept in red, baby. But then you know, it would be kind of weird for this Protoss mission, I guess. So ah, no, maybe there's a reason uh, that the bad maker chose, you know, our Terran Dominion folks to be blue, you know, rather than the main color red. I guess then my next question would be is why is um. Why is the jerk offs for life, the rebel faction, colored red? Could have been colored brown or purple or. I don't know, hell, even teal, you know? Uh, I guess not teal. I mean, I don't know, we haven't seen any heroes yet, so. But teal most likely, you know, represents the Kelmore and Combine, kind of. Uh, not really, because canonically, uh, we dealt with all kinds of colored uh, Kelmorians on Moria. It's, uh, I'm referencing the third mission of the uh, Brood Wars Zero campaign, episode 6, where we get to control badass uh, Phoenix. That was the last time we get to control Phoenix. You know, he pretty gets, gets slaughtered, you know, unfortunately. Okay, let's go explore with the Observer here. I wanna keep gathering gas maybe. Got a lot of minerals. Get some dirt. Actually let's start by scouting upwards to right here. I wanna see what's up. So keep building pylons or warping pylons rather. Seems good. I wanna get a singularity charge. I go there. I suppose I can venture out with my Chen Mech Army, but I wanna move out with my uh with my pro It's kinda of weird how we as the player, the lieutenant commander, we get to control these uh highly intelligent alien species. I don't know why they couldn't just cooperate and maybe just have us control the Terrians and you know, the Protoss commander, the carrier guy. To control his own base, but I guess he was like, let's see if the Terrans can actually control us or something. I don't know. Let's uh, get a Citadel. We have the full tech options, which like we can build all the way to Arthurs. Okay. We don't have any SCBs. That's some um, Zerg units there. Could be a event. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll there soon. Yeah. Okay, fine like that. Gas is a problem, that's why I'm building um, I'm building Citadel of the for Zealous. I'll keep upgrading first. Is there a ramp here? Let's check. Yeah, gas is a problem. I need to find a I need to find a gas bar. Although our training units are strong, uh 
Protoss in general, they're a lot stronger, so... Oh, there's red here. Interesting. Still not mining. Let's kill that rhino about this. Uh, and let's build another pylon, maybe? Let's get the leg up through. Leave my Protoss buddies behind for a bit. The war will go to red soon. Let me let me explode this area first. I feel like this is gonna fire a trigger, maybe. Let's see. I'm actually curious. Let's check the objectives first. Destroy the rebel presence at the temple. And generally from the map preview, they're gonna be over here. Now why are they so fucked? That should be fine. And I want to get Temple Archives, so I have to look at that. It doesn't really seem like... It doesn't really do anything. Let's keep exploring them. What is Surge with this one? I like the... The map design so far though. Let's get that now. Let's go cool with Maybe we have to destroy red first? Let's actually value my gateways there. I want to build like five more gateways if possible. You can also build Dark Templar, but I think this was meant to be played in the original mode, so I will ignore all Blue War units. And Blue Vortex, as mentioned before. Alright, let's go attack. Uh. Attack Red. I mean, they're. I guess they're sleeping? Who knows? How the hell should I know? Alright. Go! Okay, let's keep upgrading. Oh gosh. 25 freaking damage. Uh, ah, that was so I think the ghost did damage damage. Uh, they're circling that. Yeah, I noticed like in the previous mission. Okay, now they're starting to mine. But I noticed in the previous map, like the jerk off their lives, uh, enemy ghosts. They were like two shot in my marine. So that kind of explains it. I thought they did like 20 damage, but it looks like they did 25 damage per shot, which is actually significant. You know. Look at the speed up this. Let's actually destroy those spaces. Let's explore over there too. Okay, they're sending reinforcements. Yeah, so their ghosts do more damage than that of the vulture. Which is kind of bizarre. But they did get the tech turn, so it makes sense, I guess. Oh gosh, alright. There's the end of that, I guess. Yeah, I'm not getting attacked here, I don't think so. No. Rally my units. We actually... We uncover 75% of the map here, probably more than that. The Terran base should be over here, but... I do kind of want to... Explore more towards my left. We're going to love too soon. I'm going to get the sight range up here. So. Oh, that was some lag just now. Got I upgrade? Get that. Oh, okay. Yes, 
uh, you expand with Tushin here. Oh, jeez, I sold off those units. Okay. So how do we get ghosts then? You know, I'm not even gonna bother asking asking that question. So there's a Oh gosh. Alright, so, so I should have built one more ghost uh, observer action. Oh no! It's okay! Your forces are under attack. Random ultra listed. That's really interesting. I wonder if the uh, AI uh, builds or replenishes its force. I think I lost several cultures, one Goliath. It's okay though. Let's make some full time. Not much else to say about this guy, to be honest. They have a freaking battle cruiser. There's the temple. Dude, their base is kind of small. Alright, I guess we're attacking. The lockdown's gonna be so annoying. Jesus. I think we're fine right now. We don't have to us. Yes, yeah, moons are pretty much the same here. There's a, another entrance there, but I don't know. I'll go through this area. I suppose I'll build a star gate just for sure. Is there any unit over here? Let's check. I mean, this map feels kind of barren for some reason. I feel like I could have used a timer or something. Like a countdown, like you have to finish this map in a certain uh, time frame, maybe? I mean, and the role is with that briefing about like us being able to build ghosts if we're not gonna get any reinforcements or is it do we get reinforcements if we lose all our training units? Is that is that how it works? Um I will check it out after. I'll check the map editor. Am I actually curious about this ultra list order? Hey that's the thing. So it looks like did our job here. Still upgrading. Find more, more gateway. Is it order? Yeah, we can build everything. Of course, we got locked on. My gosh. Basically, the ghouls have more damage, and they're slaughtering all my my mech units or units that have mechanical features. All right, I mean, it's fine at this. I don't cover the whole map. Though. Lockdowns last for like I believe um about 40 seconds if I'm not wrong. Jeez. 
My zealous carries in. <laughs> My gosh. So strong. Oh, that's what I did. I'm gonna lose all my units. I lost my Archon too, really? Jeez, that's kind of sad. Your forces are under attack. So, where's my reinforcements? No reinforcements? I, I, I don't even know, Your forces are under attack. There you go. Go, go, go! We did it! That was the map! I don't think they had, should have, like, slept here or something. I think there was, like, a trigger going on indicating that after a certain time passes, the AI will start operating, but I really don't think that was necessary, to be honest. Hey, that's the same. Good thing I got the uh, observer sight range up there. Yeah, very nice. All our chain reinforcement sides, though. Now, my goodness, the sight range that this observer can deal with is actually crazy. Could be a sight 11. Alright, that's it, I think, right? Mission accomplished, sir. The area is secure. Great work. Now, let's see what, what the rebels have to do. I'm coming with you. I want to help, too. I wonder why. Wow, they've turned the entire place upside down. Protoss, where's the discovery? It's somewhere down here. Oh. The room's a complete mess. Better start searching. Is this it? Oh, I like that little ending. Like how the viewer find it and then it kind of, you know, it like it's a cliffhanger ending, you know what I mean? It, it begs the player more for the next one, you know what I mean? So I actually like that little end dialogue that came from us, you know, you, the player, whatever, from the lieutenant commander. But yeah, I'm really confused about the nuclear silo and more reinforcements, you know, they're supposed to be, to be sent by the commander, but that never arrived, so maybe I finished the map too early, or who knows? And I'm actually Expecting the Zerg to have like a hive cluster, but I guess not. It would be more engaging if the Zerg AI, like the pre placed Zerg units, like started attacking us like, after a certain period of time, just like in that first mission, you know. But anyway, that's it for DK, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. Another weekend gone, apparently. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of June. I'll see you in July, guys. Signing off.